Hello everybody, my name is Wunder. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this. I hope it's a wonderful time for you. Today, I'm going to be going over the best loadout to use in Black Ops for a multiplayer. Yes, this will be incredible in almost every single situation you can find yourself in. Control, hardpoint, domination, free-for-all, all these things, it will dominate in. And it's it can be used in teamfights, 1v1s, it, you can win with it in long range, short range. It's just a perfect loadout to use overall. Now I almost don't even want to make this video because more people that know about this loadout will be able to compete with us when we dominate using this. But eh, I have like 17 subscribers, I don't know how much of an impact I can have on the entire Black Ops 4 community, but for you guys at least, you guys are going to have the best loadout to use in Black Ops 4. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Now the weapon that we are going to be using today is the Maddox. Now this is unlocked at level 49, it's pretty high up, if you don't know, in Call of Duty traditionally they make the best guns, the lowest level levels and the highest levels. The middle ones usually aren't that great or aren't as competitive as the highest ones that you can get at the highest levels or the lowest ones that you can get at the lowest level. Hence the ICR and the Maddox obviously. Now the Maddox is such a good weapon. If you don't know, the Maddox and the Vapor are probably the most two most competitive guns in the game thus far, but the Vapor was kind of nerfed. The Maddox is still super incredible. You can win with it short range, long range. It has recoil, that's true, but the recoil at the first like 10 shots are almost directly straight up, so they're incredibly easy to control, and you can win, win long range fights incredibly easily. Not that you're gonna hold it down too long, because this gun kills incredibly quick. It shoots really quickly, it has 40 rounds in the magazine, it is just super good in every single way that you can think of. The iron sights might look a little bit weird when you're looking at them, but they actually work a lot better than you'd think. Maybe it's just because the gun is insanely good, but, I mean, it's just good iron sights as well, so you're not gonna need an optic for that. First attachment, you're gonna wanna have quick draw. Obviously, if you have quick draw available for whatever gun you wanna use, you're gonna have to use it, just because you're gonna just be outgunned in every fight if you don't have quick draw. If you guys both see each other at the same time and one of you has quick draw, one of you doesn't, 95% of the time, the person who has quick draw will win. So that's why we need it so we don't lose any gunfights. Now we're also going to use fast mags and usually fast mags isn't the best attachment but fast mags is actually going to be really useful here just because of how many people we're going to be killing and I'm not just saying that as you know oh we're going to kill a million people just because we have such good loadout. I mean it in the sense that this gun kills so many people that you're going to have to reload a lot and while it has a pretty big magazine for an assault rifle you know it runs really quickly through ammo because the fire rate is super quick but still at the same time there's not that many other incredible attachments but you're still going to want to buff up the mag so it's just a super incredible gun. In fact, you don't even really need to use fast mags if you don't want to, but I get in a lot of high kill streaks and I gotta keep reloading, and you don't wanna reload and then have someone shoot at you while you're loading. And at the same time, ARs usually have pretty quick reloads. This one has the slowest one of all ARs, it has the slowest reload, and for the amount of people that you're gonna be killing, the streaks you're gonna go on, you're not gonna wanna be caught with your pants down while you're reloading. Now we're gonna use primary gunfighter to get our third attachment, and that's because this one is es essential for anything that has stock you're probably going to want to use stock on it just because in every kind of gunfight it's super useful for dodging people's bullets even if you're moving quite slowly and it's super useful for lining up your aim now a lot of times on console it's pretty hard to aim just generally with the thumbsticks i mean it's very possible obviously but like it's a lot easier to just move right to left with uh while you're in a gunfight to aim so that's what stock allows you to do and overall stock is just an incredible incredible attachment to have on any kind of weapon that's why if stock is on a weapon it's automatically just a better weapon than something that doesn't have stock just because it's so useful in gunfights. Now for our second day, we're gonna have the Helion Salvo, and now this is just because for any kind of loadout that I'd, I'd ever give, I gave a loadout earlier that didn't have this actually, but anyone that I'd legitimately give for team play or control or domination, anytime where you have a team, I'd recommend having a launcher. It's almost a mandatory. If nobody else is shooting down score streaks but you are, you're gonna get a ton of points and that just adds more to your own score streaks so you can get a lot more attack trappers, care packages that give you RCXDs, things like that. On top of that, if the enemy team has a UAV but your team doesn't and nobody on your team shoots it down, you guys are gonna be at a massive disadvantage. I mean, you're gonna, they're always gonna know where you are, you guys aren't always gonna know where they are, so you're just gonna always be on the losing side if you do not have a Helion Salvo on your class. 
Surprisingly, in this game, not that many people shoot down score streaks. I only see about like 25% of people doing it, and it's super important if you want your team to win. If they have a UAV and you guys don't, you guys are probably going to lose. Same thing with counter UAV, same thing with attack chopper, obviously. But if they have score streaks up and you can't shoot them down, you guys are going to be at a massive disadvantage. That's why it's in this incredible loadout. Now, this one is actually quite hard. Usually, the most competitive ones in the gear slot are Stimshot or Acoustic Sensor. Now, if you didn't know, recently Vonderhaar actually nerfed the acoustic sensor because it used to be super op but now they nerfed the the range of it and a few other things i don't quite remember but now it's not quite what it used to be that aside if you're always just looking at your mini map you're probably going to get outgunned by someone who has dead silence which is our third park we'll get into that a little bit later which makes you invisible on the mini map to the people who have acoustic sensor so if you're always looking at your mini map you're not going to be looking at the right doorways you're not going to be looking in the right places and a lot of times you're going to be surprised with all these random markers and you're not going to be able to pay attention to what's actually happening in your game a lot of times you see people with acoustic sensor even on youtube the good players a lot of time you see them just kind of standing still or standing in place waiting to see where that red indicator is pointing at and it kind of disorients you and doesn't allow you to play at your highest potential with stim shot this is super good for going on kill streaks and just running around and gunning everybody down just because you're going to be able to win a gunfight then heal up then win a gunfight then heal up and just keep doing that and always be ready to fight again because if you have to wait in a corner for like three seconds for your stim to be back up then you're just not going to play your highest potential overall and stim shot before the acoustic nerf was actually pretty competitive anyways so now it just makes it almost a necessity to have in your class you know the sensor dart with uh what's his name recon is pretty useful sensor dart grapple hook cluster grenade these are all super useful and if you have like machete in the place you're probably gonna miss machete second and you don't have that thing that applies to your specialist that's super useful so just generally 95 percent of the time on all of your classes no matter if it's a troll loadout you're probably not going to want to have anything in your equipment except special issue perk one we're going to go with scavenger just because we're going to go on massive kill streaks with this and we're going to need to pick up ammo so we can stay with the maddox most of the time perk one is pretty straightforward if you want to have a good loadout that you think you're going to succeed with, you're almost always going to go with Scavenger because anything else will force you to pick up someone else's weapon, which you might not be used to or be bad with. So 95% of the time, we're just going to go with Scavenger anyway. For perk 2, we're going to go with Gung Ho just because we're going to be running and gunning a lot. Uh, it has a pretty tight spread. In fact, even though we didn't choose the attachment, red dot sight. But anyway, it has a pretty tight sight. And you're also going to want to be reloading on the go. And also, you're going to have the stim shot while you're sprinting. It's just going to allow you to get from one place to another super easily. A lot better than lightweight. For a final perk, we're gonna go with Dead Silence. This one is just incredible. It makes you invisible to people who have acoustic sensor. I mean, at least on your indicator, not in front of you. If it was in front of you, that might be a little bit overpowered. But overall, you can't even hear your own footsteps, so it's easier to hear other people's footsteps. It's almost like you have a mini acoustic sensor, minus the actual indication on your minimap, just because you can hear people, because you're not hearing your own footsteps. And it's overall just super useful when you want to be stealthy. So yeah, that's going to be the loadout today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, this loadout is insane. You can go on massive streaks with it. The uh, background gameplay isn't too impressive just because it was my first and second game to get gameplay, but I thought it was pretty good just to show off. Even in your first games, even in your starting games, this will help you so much. Even though I didn't perform at my absolute best, I did get a ton of streaks, and overall, I did get the Mantis, I got a lot of other things, and we ended up winning the match. If you didn't realize, the second match, we were actually 2-0 down, and then we got 3-0, just because, you know, we pulled it back, and a lot of people started equipping the Maddox, which is a really good weapon. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, it means a lot that you checked out this video. If you found anything informative or you like the loadout, don't forget to like the video. If you're confused about anything or you have any suggestions of things that you think are better, you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding, leave them in the comments. And if you like me, don't forget to subscribe or subscribe anyway. I don't care if you don't like me, you might as well subscribe anyway, right guys? Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. Peace.